Hey there everyone, it's Mr. Step Step, and finally I'm excited to announce that I can do my complete base set, the first set ever released of Pokemon cards. I was waiting on one card to get back from grading. You guys have seen my graded returns, or if not, please check those out, they're awesome. I can finally showcase this set. The set has been seen so many times, opened so many times, but now it's all here, and I just wanted to show it off to y'all because I'm very proud. If you haven't completed the base set, just pursue it. It's not that bad. You could probably get majority of the set for fairly cheap. I get, you know, the main starters are still expensive, but I think it's still a set worth collecting. So first off, we'll start with some admin information, and I'll probably have try to have a photo. All this information is from Bulbapedia, really great resource. I use Bulbapedia as well as Cerebi for like the video game, the TCG, all that stuff. Really great sites. Um, but it has 102 cards, no secret rares. There's a lot of errors and variants and all that stuff. I just have one of every numbered card in here. And it was released January 9th of 1999. All right, so like always, I'm gonna go through the individual cards and at the very end, I'll do big flips going backwards. So if you just wanna see big pages, you can just skip to the end. I should have a timestamp, but I'm gonna be going through the individual cards. Let me know in the comments which, what, which cards, artworks, really just get you in your feels and the nostalgia. A lot of these get me in my feels, but I didn't pull um, very many hollows when I was a kid, so. Let's start with the Alakazam, the number one amazing card. I know PokeRev pulled two of these in first edition and got them graded, which is pretty awesome. We have the Blastoise, legendary. Majority of these artworks, I believe, are done by Ken Sugimori, and then you got some Arita sprinkled in there. But Chansey, uh, I would say the majority of the condition of my cards is uh, heavily played to damage to moderately played for the non hollow so not the best condition set, but I wasn't going for condition, I was just going for completion. And I still get to look at these artworks, which makes me very happy. Love that Gyarados artwork. Got the Hitmonchan. You can see the damage. Hitmonchan got in a fight. Hitmonchan survived. Maybe it was with this Machamp. I have no idea. We have the Magneton. Not my favorite Magneton artwork, but still pretty cool and nostalgic. That Mewtwo. What a legendary artwork that is. Nido King. Awesome Pokemon. I feel like a lot of people like Nido King because it just looks like a boss. With Polyrath and a Sun and Moon Electric Basic Energy. Now, this was the graded card I was talking about. It's that first edition Raichu that I have. I might have some first edition and Shadowless sprinkled throughout here, but primarily this is just the regular Shadowed Unlimited print. But I did find this first edition in some bulk, so I figured why not get it graded? And it came out of two, which I feel like two is probably the hardest grade to get, besides like tens, because you know, it's damaged, but not so damaged that it's a one. Zapdos, I do like the fossil Zapdos better, but still cool artwork. And then we start right into the non-hollows. Dragonair being one of my favorite by Rita. Just that artwork. Look at that. Oh my gosh, so elegant. The Doug Trio, the Electabuzz, the Electrode. Don't self-destruct on me, please. Got the Pidgeotto. This is a very nostalgic artwork for me. I'm not sure why, but I just like it. And the fact that it wasn't fully evolved is pretty cool. Got the Arcanine, categorized as a legendary Pokemon. It was with the legendaries, you know, on the first, I, th I can't remember if it was the first episode or one of the first episodes of Pokemon. We do have a Shadow Stratini. I love this artwork, another very nostalgic artwork for me. And no Shadow, just look at that. And I do have, I think, the Unlimited behind it as well, because I had that originally. Saw the Shadowless in a bulk box. I was like, hey, why not? It's right here in front of me. You can get it cheap. Ivysaur, I always pick the Grass Starter. So I love the Grass Starters. Getting into the Uncommons. Got Jinx, Kadabra. Love this Kadabra artwork. Before the, the guy finally relinquished the name Kadabra, it was a while before we got Kadabra cards again after Watsy stopped printing cards. Got Machoke, Magikarp. Love that Magikarp artwork. Just an action photo. It just, I don't know. It just, ugh. So historical, that Magikarp is. Nidorito, Poliwhirl. I won't stay on Poliwhirl too long because you might get hypnotized. Porygon, looking polygonal as ever. Raticate, always threw me off that question mark for damage. Got the War Turtle. I actually really like the uh, the mid mid stage or the first stage Pokemon within this set. I like their artworks a lot. Got the Bulbasaur. Oh my gosh, this might be my favorite card in the base set. I just love it so much. Actively doing Elite Seed. That's the attack. Caterpie, a really nostalgic artwork. Everybody loves this Charmander. It's a legendary artwork. The Diglett and Doug Trio artworks in this. Leave a little bit to be desired. Doduo, running super fast. Got Drowsy. Got Ghastly. This one always kind of freaked me out because it's really hard to tell where Ghastly begins and ends. 
Got Coughing. I had so many of these cards, especially from Team Rocket. Got my Chop. Super strong. Magnemite. Just got a shiny one of those recently. And Scarlet, which is awesome. Metapod. My only legendary collection. Reverse Hollow. Got Nidoran. Onyx. Loved Brock as a character, so of course I loved Onyx. Pidgey. Got legendary Chunky Pikachu. You just want to rub the belly. Make Pikachu maybe shock you or laugh with glee. Got Ponyta. Rattata, or Rattata, let me know how you pronounce it. Sandshrew, another really nostalgic artwork for me. I love Sandshrew so much. If I could have a team of like Gen 1 Pokemon, Sandshrew would definitely be on my team. Squirrel. Got Starmie. Always wondered why Starmie was a common, but whatever. Staryu, kind of blending into the background. Got Tangela. Voltorb. Vulpix. Once again, love Brock, so I love, love me some Vulpix. Weedle. And then we get into the trainers. Clefairy doll, as I know as a kid, I saw trainers and I just said, yay, because I did not care about trainers. Didn't care about playing the game, how it was actually meant to be played when I was a little kid. Um, and then you even have some rare trainers here, which I would be very sad to pull these. I think as a kid, I only opened up maybe one or two actual base set packs. I ended up with base set cards, but I think I legitimately only opened up like two base set packs. And I don't think I pulled any hollows. I think the only hollows that I actually pulled from are like Jungle Fossil, Team Rocket, and base set two and then occasional packs there, but I probably opened the most Team Rocket when I was a kid, so. That is that, Pokemon Center. Always love bringing my, my Pokemon to the Pokemon Center, and then if you catch them in different balls, they appear as whatever balls you caught them in. Those, those little details, they just mean so much, you know? Even though it's not that hard, I still appreciated it immensely. Got the Super Potion. Got Bill, such a simple card, just draw two cards. Now let's draw three cards, but energy removal, gust of wind, that poor Weedle. Just a regular potion. The switch, always a staple. Magnemite and Kakuna looking at each other, such random Pokemon. The double colorless, what a legendary card. And then when energy cards were numbered, which I kind of appreciate energy cards being numbered. I know it's kind of a waste and they're so plentiful, but Every single time a new type of energy comes out, I do collect a set of them for whatever set that came out with. For example, Sword and Shield Base, and then Brilliant Stars. And yes, that is actually the complete base set. You can tease my jungle set right there. I already have previous videos on my full jungle and fossil because this binder contains all three because the sets were so short, no reverse hollows. So way more manageable to put within a binder. Nowadays, I mean, you got freaking Fusion Strike that has over 500 cards, so it's ridiculous. But now we'll do some big wavy sweeps. This video should be slightly shorter than my other, my more recent master set videos, because this is just a regular complete set, which is nice. I know some people have like full play sets of, you know, everything, which is pretty crazy. And then there's people that have PSA 10s of every single one of these cards in first edition or in some type of form, which is crazy. I do really like the first Sun and Moon energy though. It's just a nice energy card. It has like texture, but no actual texture. And I appreciate that. But yes, that is the complete base set. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you have a complete base set or if you got some first editions, you know, hanging out or whatever. But that's all I wanted to show to y'all. Thanks so much for giving me your time and watching. And I'll catch y'all in the next complete set video.